All right, uh, today I'm going to talk about how to do transmission fluid change on a BMW i3. In this case, my example, uh, the one I own, is a 2018 BMW i3s. It's a BEV, so it has no internal combustion engine, no RECs. So that makes things, in some ways, simpler. Now, the e-transmission resides in the rear of the car, and this is looking from the right side of the rear. You'll see a fill plug and a drain plug on older versions of the i3. From around, they say, March or April 2015, uh, they stopped including the fill plug. Now this is a later version, and you see that the fill plug is now missing. It's disappeared. There's the drain plug at the bottom. And you'll also see the breather. The breather is a silver part, and it has a plastic breather cover. And you just squeeze these two sides together to remove this cover to have access to that breather, which has a small orifice through which you'll be putting in the uh, transmission oil. It's really very much like differential fluid. It's the weight is just like differential fluid. Now if you're curious about how this actually would work uh, inside the transmission, here we have an exploded view of the transmission during manufacture. On the left there's a circle and that's where the breather is going to be installed. Um, most of your uh, fluid is going to reside at the bottom. So if you pour the breather, uh, the fluid through the breather, it'll drip down all the way to the bottom. And this area right here, where I'm, my pointer is, is actually where the drain plug is. So the fluid will get to the right location. And you see the gears on this big gear. Uh, all those teeth are very close to the drain plug not far from it at all. Now in this next shot you see the breather on the left attached to the transmission cover and this breather is already installed. It, I think it just pops in or press fits in. And here again you see the same thing with it's installed it's starting to be bolted down and you see the drain plug and the fill plug. So this was probably from a 2014 production run. So tools and supplies you need. First you need the uh, actual gear oil. Liquid Molly 22090 synthetic hypoid gear oil for $30 per liter. And I got mine at FCP Euro. You can also go to the BMW dealer and pay about $50 for 500 mil or half liter of the OEM fluid. But I actually think the Liquid Molly is better fluid and the Liquid Molly is BMW approved. So it's totally suitable for the BMW and it's fully synthetic. You'll need the Torx T25 sockets to remove the metal drivetrain cover. You'll need an 8 millimeter hex socket for the drain plug, ratchet wrench, clear tubing, 5 8 inch inner diameter, 3 quarter inch outer diameter, 12 bucks at Home Depot. You need a funnel, a graduated measuring cup for $1.25 at Dollar Tree, and a crush washer. Uh, this is for the, the drain plug. You could probably reuse yours, but as a matter of course, I, I just replaced mine. But I, I bet you could probably reuse it. Now this is the view from the right rear. I'm right in front of the uh, right rear tire. You see that there's a heat shield. And this heat shield is clipped onto the e-transmission. The drain plug is right in this area. Now, why they have a transmission, uh, this heat shield on the transmission, who knows? Because there's no heat coming out of here. In fact, uh, BMW does uh, specify to warm fluids whenever you change them. And there's basically hardly any way to warm this fluid up. Even if you drive it, it'll be lukewarm. Because there's just no heat coming out of these electric cars. Um, so this must be there, this heat shield, simply because it was there on the wrecks and they just continued to put it on all cars. 
Now here's an upper uh, a blow up view of the heat shield. You see number one here. This heat shield has a protrusion for the clip. So you see this protruding area, rectangle. Well, it's kind of like a tab. And the clip itself is just uh, held on by tension, just pressure. So what you do is you either get your hand or a screwdriver beneath, underneath this uh, cover, this heat shield, and press out on the clip and it'll just slide right off, exposing the uh, drain plug and the fill plug. If you're lucky enough to have a fill plug, but more than, more than likely you don't. Now here is a picture of the drain plug removed. Now this is highly magnetized drain plug and at 100K, this one has quite a bit of debris. Mine, uh, I didn't take a picture of, but this is an example of a one that had about 100K. The magnetized portion is very small. It's about as big as the uh, tip of a, a pencil eraser. Um, it's small, so this is a, quite a bit of fluid. And as I said before, the drain plug is very close to that big gear where all the teeth are. And uh, I just don't don't think this should be, uh, you, you don't want that much material uh, so close to the transmission gears. Better to, to remove it and clean it. Now here is my gear oil, the transmission fluid. And it's dark, and this is after 30K. Um, if you look at it in a paper towel, it's dirty, but not super dirty. So I think it's probably much like regular differential fluid because recommended intervals for differentials is 40 to 60K. So this being done at 30K, after 30K of use, it's probably early. I, I think I could have gone to 40K. And here you see what was removed, about 500 mil. And that is the OEM specification for capacity, 500 mil. And that's what I got out. Now here is a picture of the back of the car. And you have this cover, just this carpeted cover over the, uh, the motor and transmission. So the drivetrain cover is just removed by pulling back, lifting and pulling back on this half moon shaped tab. And that will remove the, uh, the top cover. And that will then expose this metal drivetrain cover. Now the metal drivetrain cover is held down by T25 screws, these, these bolts. There's three on the top, three on the bottom, and one on each side. Now, you don't have to remove all of these. You only really have to remove the bottom and side ones. The top screws only have to be loosened. So these top screws up here, you just loosen them. Because the other ones that you remove will enable you to just slide this out. Just pull up and slide out. And it's a uh, it's very easy process. There's no uh, heavy lifting here required at all. Just keep track of all your screws. Now here's the setup. After you got that cover removed, you will see the electric motor on the left. There's no Rex unit here on the right, so it's a big empty space. Uh, try to stay away from anything orange because if you touch those, I mean, these are high voltage lines. Um, these cables are all high voltage, high voltage connectors. So you don't want to be playing with those. Now, I have this tubing that's going to the breather and I'll show you a close up of that. Right here we have the breather and that's this metal piece right here on top of the transmission. I've removed the breather cover, the plastic breather cover by just squeezing it and lifting up. There is a little lip, like a ridge on this breather. So when you put on your plastic tubing, 
this tubing will just slip right over and it'll be a very taut, a pretty tight connection. So it, it, it won't be popping off, but you will have to kind of press pretty hard to get it past that lip. Now in my case, I had the tubing running from the breather all the way to a funnel on the side. Now this is my second iteration. In my first iteration, I had a very short length of tubing. And I actually think that works better. A short length of tubing with a small funnel will allow the gear oil to drain in quicker. This was slower. Now this breather has a relatively, it's a small orifice, it's just a breather. It's not really meant to fill up fluids with. So it takes a while for the gear oil to go all the way down to drain into the transmission. It takes a while, but no more than 10 minutes. But it's slow. So just be patient. Now here is a picture of the fluid I'm putting in. Just 500 mil, which is what I took out, and that's the OEM specification. It's really easy. Now, it only takes maximum, I'd say, 30 minutes, and I was taking my time. Uh, I wasn't in any rush to do this job. Uh, you could jack up the rear of your car if you wanted to, but you don't really need to. But you could if you wanted. So it's a super simple job, and it saves you the time of having to go to a dealer and have them tear off the drivetrain of your car. Because the, uh, the other way of doing it is going right through the axles, which means removing the axles, and it's just a big mess. And this way is, you know, 50 bucks and you're done and you don't have to worry about it for another 40 to 60 K. But I would recommend if you do have a I three to do it before 60,000, because it's going to be pretty dirty. And, uh, these transmissions aren't cheap. So I'd hate to have to replace one uh, just because fluid wasn't changed. So if you have any questions or comments, please post below. Thanks.